What's up everybody welcome to the channel and in today's video we are going to talk about operator overloading and under methods in python. So we discussed a lots of oops concept like encapsulation, abstraction, polymorphism and most importantly inheritance and in today's video we are going to talk about the dunder methods. So I'm quickly going to make a new python file right here and I'll name this python file as dunder. So I'll name it dunder and I'll put an underscore so that it does not collide with the module name in case it does and after that what I'll do is that I'll put a class inside this file so I'm searching for a class that is a bit more meaningful uh, actually I'm searching in oops 13 then oops 14 and I'm not getting the class I need so actually I'll go to oops 8 and after that we have got this beautiful employee class that we had made in our previous videos so I'm going to copy this and after that I'm going to paste it inside the dunder file and as you can see that we have made this class named as employee class now in this class I'm just going to remove some of these functions that are the static and class class methods but we don't need it right now and as you can see that we had defined some functions we had defined a constructor and we had defined a class variable now as you can see right here that we had defined a constructor by the use of def underscore underscore in it when you write underscore underscore in it and after that you write underscore underscore after the init this becomes a dunder method dunder method are basically special methods or functions which you can use in order to do stuff with your object so as you can see that whenever you write underscore underscore in it underscore underscore it acts as a special method and now whenever you try to make an object of the of, of the employee class you have to put the name the age the salary and the number of leaves of that object so for example if I make an object of the employee class and name it as EMP1 and after that I try to make the employee class so as you can see I have put employee and I always have to put the variables inside that is the name the the salary and the number of leaves why because of this special method the init and that acts as a constructor so I'll have to write unch and then I'll have to uh, write my age so for example if it's 39 and then my salary is for example 4000 and my number of leaves are 20 so I've made an object named as EMP1 right here a simple object and I've named it as unch and after that what I can do is that I can use this object in order to run some functions that is print salary and I can access number of clients as well now for example if I make another object and I name it as EMP2 and after that if I name this EMP2 guy named as Karan and then I make him younger than me that is 30 and after that if I make his salary uh, higher than me and that's really painful because he's younger than me so <laughs> I'll make his uh, number of leaves higher than me as well and basically what Karan does is that he is a programmer in the company and I am a cleaner so after this what we'll do is that we will add the num the salary of EMP1 and EMP2 so I can write that print EMP1.salary and then I can write uh, emp one dot salary plus emp two dot salary and if I run this program as you can see that it won't give me an error and it will print the addition of the two salaries that is nine thousand. Now it works perfectly fine. I don't have any problems with it. I don't have any complaints with it. But for example, if I want to get the salary that is the addition of these two salaries just by writing emp one plus emp2 what can i do for that now if i run this program you'll know that this will give an error it will show me that this does not support an operand type for uh, e employee and employee class you cannot add two classes right so for that what we can what can we do we can write dunder methods now dunder methods as you can see they, they are special functions dunder methods are in it and after that for addition for an addition operator we have a dunder method known as underscore underscore add underscore underscore so i can write i can define that underscore underscore add so i can write def underscore underscore add and then what I can do is that I can use this self object and the other object now when I write emp1 plus emp2 what happens is that guys you need to pay attention to this statement because this is really important so when I write emp1 plus emp2 
in my backend of the python process it uses a dunder method that is known as underscore underscore add underscore underscore now if i didn't write this if i comment this out it couldn't have got the underscore underscore add function and after that it gave me an error because it didn't know how how we can add the employee class to an employee class right so the employee object to an employee object so for that i'll have to define the add method and i'll have to tell him that you need to add the object salary with another object salary so as you can see i have put self and the another and after that i'll return so i'll write return self dot salary and then i'll write other dot salary so after this if i run this program as you can see i'll write other dot salary and uh, if i rerun this program it uh, it will give me 9000 that we expected so uh, so whenever we use plus right here it searches for a dunder method named as underscore underscore add and after that if it gets it it returns everything that i have written inside it or else if it does not get it it gets confused because we cannot basically add two class two objects of classes right because it does not make sense and it really does not show any meaningful output so for example if i just print emp1 as you can see that if i run this program it has printed that this is an main object employee object at this place this is the position of the object so basically there is no meaning in adding two objects of the class so i hope guys that you understood that how the add dunder method works now if you go to the python's document as you can see that we have got mapping operators or two functions a document right here you can search it yourself and we had basically done the addition operation as you can see that this is the syntax and we had put in the function right here as well so add a comma b was the function and we had uh, overwritten the add function with the use of defining underscore underscore add underscore underscore so that's how we overridden the add function and after that if we want to divide these two employee methods so for example if i want to write if i want to print emp1 divided by emp2 and if i run this program you know that this will give me an error it will tell me that it cannot uh, divide an employee object with another employee object and this is not possible so for that what can i do guys as you can see right here that the uh, division operator the division operator is a divided by b and after that there is a function named as true div so i can write underscore underscore true div underscore underscore right so i'll write def underscore underscore true div and then i can write return return self dot salary and for example if i want to write other dot salary if i want to divide it by other dot salary so now for example guys if i rerun this program now it won't give me an error it will tell me that it is 0.8 because a uh, 4000 divided by 5000 is 0.8 and similarly if i write 4000 divided by 2000 it will give me 2.0 so as you can see that it has given me 2.0 and similarly we can use the dunder method for di the division operator as well now we have a lots of dunder methods as you can see right here we have got a multiplication dunder method then matrix multiplication application dunder method then we have got positive right shift left shift uh, subtraction and everything now as if you guys remember that i talked about repr and str dunder methods in my previous videos i think so i have talked about it in my one previous video and most of the people they won't uh, be getting it because it was ages ago so i'm going to talk about that i'm going to put some light on it i will make a function and name it as underscore repr i'll write def underscore underscore repr and after that what i'll do is that i'll just return this is repr function now for example if i write this this is repr function and for example if i print the emp1 and if i run this program as you can see that it has printed this is repr function now what does this mean whenever you try to access the emp1 object whenever you try to print it it always reaches the repr function it searches for it that did the owner did the programmer did he override this repr function did he write this dunder method did he define it inside this class if he has i'll go inside that function and i'll print everything that it is returning so now we have got this uh, repr function that it is returning and that's what it means whenever you try to print an object it searches for the repr method 
now we have got an str method we have got an underscore underscore str dunder method so i can write def underscore underscore def underscore underscore str and after that what i can do is that i can simply use this self in order to just print whatever i want so for example i can just copy this whole sentence and after that i can write it inside this def underscore underscore str function and now i'll return the recurring returns and after that uh, if i run this program again as you can see now it has printed the name of the employee is hunch salary of the employee is 4000 age is 39 and number of leaves of the employee is 20. now what does this mean whenever you try to print employee one it goes into the str dunder method and after that it prints everything in it now if it does not find the underscore underscore str method then it searches for the repr method and if it gets there it will uh, uh, print everything that's inside the repr method and if it does not get the repr method that is i'll comment both of these functions uh, you know that it will print the employee object at this this position but for example if we d we don't want this boring stuff to happen and we wanted to print something concrete so what we can do is that we can basically uh, uncomment this out and after this i'll just uncomment this uh, comment this str function and then wh what i can do is that i can return an f string so i can write f and then i can write employee so i can write employee and then i'll make an f string i'll make the use of self so I'll write a uh, single quote right here and then I can write self dot name and then I can write self dot salary so I'll write self dot salary and then I can write um, uh, self dot salary right here as well oops sorry this was self dot age I'm really sorry so this will be self dot age and after that this will be self dot salary and then this will be self dot the number of leaves so we have basically told the program that you just need to access these variables and you need to uh, return this f string whenever we try to print the object so i'll write self dot number of leaves and after that if i rerun this program as you can see that it has printed employee unch 39 4020 and this is the exact representation of our emp1 and it is really feasible because no one wants to know the object of uh, the position of the object of our class and no one wants to check that out so i hope guys that you understood that how we can use the repr and str method basically when you uh, put this str method it just does not look at the repr method and it straight up goes into this str method it overlooks it so the str method if you uncomment it out it goes into the repr method and if you uncomment the repr method it basically just prints the position so i hope guys that you understood uh, these dunder methods these are some of the special methods that we can use in python and i hope that you understood how we can use it now if you haven't accessed my python for absolute beginners playlist the link will be in the description and if you want to check more about the dunder methods that is what is the bitwise operator what is the exponential uh, operator thing and after that what we can do for identity what are the functions for it so you can go on to the documentation of the python and you can check that out now i have a quiz for you guys and now you need to solve this quiz because i haven't given you a quiz since a long time and i feel that this is the best opportunity to give it to you so what you have to do is that you just need to take three functions from this uh, list and after that you need to just put it inside the comment section below you just need to put put it how you use these functions and uh, where you used it so you just need to make the use of these some of these three functions and you need to make a code of it so i hope guys that you will solve this quiz and you will comment your answer down below it will help everyone in in a whole because uh, many people they don't know about some functions so they'll look at the functions in the comment section below and after that they'll get an idea of it now i won't waste more of your time and thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope you're safe and I'll see you next time.